Q93, Alexandria's number one hit music station. Joining us by phone is actor and comedian Kel Mitchell. Kel, good morning. Thanks for calling in. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good morning. You were part of the new spinoff <laughs> of MTV's Ridiculousness, Deliciousness. So tell us about the show. Oh, man, it, it's awesome. You know, Ridiculousness, uh, you know, laughs at a lot of video fails. And so this one is the same. It's just that we added food involved. And uh, it's super, super funny. We've all done it, trying to get a recipe right, but somehow mess it, mess it up. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I'm, I've done it. You know, I've been texting on my phone while barbecuing and ended up messing up the beat. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's one, so. what's one of the clips that had you laughing that we will see in the first season? <laughs> well, uh, it was a barbecue, right? And this guy, he was so happy to eat. He's in the line to get the food. And there's no cheese. And because there's no cheese, it ruined his entire day. Like, he yelled at everybody... <laughs> <laughs> at the barbecue, he ends up throwing the food. It's just hangry on a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something that you've uh, personally messed up besides the barbecue, kind of having a moment similar to uh, what we'll see on Deliciousness? <laughs> well, yeah, uh, oven mitts. Everybody, please wear oven mitts. It's like oh, I, yeah. I've done it where I try to pull something out of the stove and thought that I could just get it, move it real fast <laughs> and the oven mitts and ended up just spilling the food or messing up a plate and so it's so many people on deliciousness that have done the same thing where they're pulling out something like that good mac and cheese out of the mm -hmm. stove and they didn't have the oven mitt and ends up dropping the whole dish yeah <laughs> well i know a lot of times those who love to cook kind of inherit that from their family was that the case for you growing up and what are some of the things that you like to cook during your downtime uh, yeah, I love to cook. My well, We're from Chicago, and uh, we love cooking. And uh, sweet potato pie is mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my, my wife does like this uh, uh, macaroni and cheese sweet potato pie, like, mix. Oh, <laughs> like, wow. Mix together, which was, like, super cool. And, uh, yeah, me and my wife, we, like, we use the Tasty app. So we, like, even during this time of quarantine, like, we've been, like, cooking together. And I think a lot of families have been doing that. Uh, becoming chefs, <laughs> you know, during oh, this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this. Sweet potato pie and mac and cheese mix. Okay, that sounds really interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Miranda's the cook. I'm, I'm not so much the cook. I would be the one you'd be laughing at on the show. Yeah, and he's picky. <laughs> you got to get your phone out. We got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> We obviously know you from Good Burger, all that, Keenan and Kel. I want to ask you how special was that time and how special it is to now kind of come full circle and you're now part of the all new all that. Oh man, it's super cool. Like to be uh, executive producing the show that I starred on, uh, it, it, it's super awesome. It's a surreal thing. And it, it's so cool that uh, Good Burger and, uh, you know, all that and Keenan and Kel, uh, it has a special place in people's hearts where they still enjoy it. Like the fans are the ones who really brought the show back like they were just like we need it back we need it mm -hmm. <laughs> get back we need the shows back and so uh we listened you know nickelodeon listened and uh we brought it back in such a fun way <laughs> well i know i'm excited i'm i was a young mom and so my i have one child and we i cannot tell you how many times we spent watching keenan and kel and i can't <laughs> lie even when he wasn't there, I watched it. So, and Good Burger. So, I'm a big fan. Um, you know what it's like growing up as a young actor in showbiz. What helped you keep, you know, that right frame of mind through it all? And what advice would you give to young people that want to go into the same direction? Well, yeah, let, let me say this. It, it was a journey. It was like a lot of things that I had to learn along the way, you know, with, uh, being a teenager and then becoming an adult through it all and adulting. So it was mistakes I made and things of that nature. But through that, what I got to do was, was that I learned a lot. And what I wanted to do was give that back. So when we uh, started uh, all that, bringing it back for the reboot, uh, I walked into the room at the first table read and I was like, let me tell these kids something that I wish was told to me. And what I told him was, is that, remember, you were special when you were born, and it's not the show yes. that makes you special, all right? So just know that this is a long journey of a long career, and you are not your character, and so separate that, you know what I mean? And this is just a piece of, of things that you will be doing for the rest of your, your life. So, uh, And I wanted them to have a good sense of self, of who they are, 
so that that way they can separate the character. Because so many, like, you know, child stars don't separate it. And then so, like, when there's downtime or ups, ups and downs, they kind of, like, lose it, yeah. you know, and kind of, like, well, it's, yeah, so I just wanted them to have that, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's that absolutely great advice, I think, for anybody in any position. We've been talking with Kel Mitchell. You can see him on the new spinoff of Ridiculousness, Deliciousness on MTV. Kel, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great holiday. Merry Christmas <laughs> to you and your family. Thank you. You all too. Happy holidays.